and friends and uh, subscribers to Industrial Alchemy. I'm here. This is uh, Mel Jeffcoat here at the Project House. I'm getting ready for a little bit of work this morning. Uh, as you can see behind me, the uh, sill of this house in this corner is in pretty bad shape. It needs to be replaced for about 10 feet. So today I'm going to try and cut it out. I started this project this part of the project a couple weeks ago and um, was recording it and my saw promptly broke as soon as I started. So I've got a new saw and I'm ready to get started. And if all of the technology works well, I'll have a um, time lapse video to go with this. We'll see. Um, so that's what I'm doing today. I'm working on cutting this sill out so I can put a new one in. out here and I have finished cutting out this sill piece. It's all nice and clear way up to here. Uh, now once I get the wood to, to start building up the replacement sill, I'm going to have part of it uh, cut underneath this piece here. So I'll cut that out once I know the dimensions. That way they'll overlap uh, like it does over here in the original joint. Uh, and I'm going to talk for a moment here about this foundation. Uh, it's very common in this area for buildings of this time period, about 100 years ago, uh, to use you know, clay tile blocks. And basically these are glazed and fired clay. It's like Pottery. And they, they do all right. Uh, you know, concrete block is certainly 
stronger, less likely to break if it's hit. But uh, they hold up all right. And these ones are in pretty decent shape for the most part. But I'm going to go ahead and climb up here on the ladder. Show you guys. So you can see at the top here, just point to it, that's the wall stud. And that is the floor joist holding up the floor. Um, because this building is balloon framed, those are not connected to each other. It's near each other. They both originally connected into the sill. So I had to lift the wall separately from the floor. I haven't actually lifted the floor yet, but I've got, you can see down in the basement there, I've got a beam uh, with some uh, jacks underneath it. So when it comes time to put the uh, new sill in, I'll get the floor jacked up so it's at the right level. The other interesting thing is you can see on the floor joist, it's kind of rotted, but uh, where it's notched. Part of it would go over the old sill, and part of it rested on the foundation, and part of it went into a notch that was cut into the sill itself. Um, and that makes a, a pretty, that makes a good con connection as long as the wood stays strong and doesn't rot. Um, it's no longer acceptable under code, so I'll be using joist hangers to support it and connect it. So all that will just get cut back to be flush with the, uh, the new sill. And before I uh, put the new pieces of wood in place, though, see that these blocks are hollow. Those will need to get filled with concrete and that there's some special connectors that you put into the concrete to attach to the sill. Because originally this house, I mean none of the rest of the sill is actually attached to the foundation. It's just held there by weight, but uh, code requires that it be physically attached. So that's what we'll be doing for this replacement part. And as you can see there's some damage to these blocks, they've sort of fallen apart. So getting concrete in there to, to help support all that will be much stronger, better. Um, I'll have to um, cut some holes into the top of these blocks to get the concrete in them. But yeah, I think that's about all there is to say. Over there is the support of the addition that I replaced right there under it. But um, eventually there will be an actual foundation built under all of that, a nice block wall that will all be properly supported in the future. Uh, and um, the time-lapse video is going to be a separate video because I wasn't thinking and I recorded that one in landscape and these two in portrait so getting getting those connected up together is a little beyond my capabilities right now so I'll just do a separate video and uh, I think that's about it for today it's about time to go home and have some lunch before I have to start work so this is Mel Jeffcoat from Industrial Alchemy showing you some work on the progress our project house and if you want to hear more about it, go ahead and subscribe to my weekly newsletter. You'll find the address in the description. Peace.